I'm Annika Bankston, Director of Water Treatment and Distribution Services. I'm here at the Minneapolis Water Treatment Campus in Fridley. On average, we treat just over 54 million gallons of water per day, which works out to around 625 gallons every second. Last year, we took about 19 billion gallons of water out of the river, which sounds like a lot, but it's only about 1% of the average flow. In addition to Minneapolis, the water we treat is distributed to Crystal, Golden Valley, Bloomington, New Hope, Columbia Heights, Hilltop, the Edina Morningside neighborhood, Fort Snelling, and the Minneapolis St. Paul Airport. We are so proud of the work we do here and have won many awards for our outstanding services. So let's take a look at the water treatment process to learn how we deliver safe drinking water to so many residents and businesses throughout the metro area. Hi, I'm George Cranick, Water Quality Manager for the City of Minneapolis. I'm standing here at Pump Station 5, where it all begins. This is where we pull water from the Mississippi River and bring it to your tap. As we look out over the pump room floor, you'll see two colors of pumps. The green ones take river water and pump it up to the softening plant, where we begin the treatment process. The blue pumps take water that has been completely treated and pump it out into our distribution system. Let's start by taking a look at the treatment process, which begins at the softening plant. The softening plant is where we remove 90% of the contaminants from the Mississippi River. To do that, we add two chemicals to the water, lime and aluminum sulfate. The lime, which is just calcium, helps soften the water by removing hardness minerals. On an average day, we add almost 30 tons of lime to help remove these minerals. And because of this, Minneapolis residents don't need a water softener. We use so much lime that it's delivered in rail cars. This rail car holds 100 tons of lime. During the summer months, we'll go through three to four rail cars of lime in a week. Aluminum sulfate is a coagulant that removes particles and color from the water. Once the chemicals are added, the water comes here. These are our softening cones. We have 12 of them, and each one holds about 660,000 gallons of water. Their purpose is to allow the chemicals we just added to the water to settle out, along with the contaminants. This entire process takes about four to five hours to complete. From this point, we're just about ready to pump the water to our two filter plants, but first, we separate it into two paths. The black water has powder-activated carbon added to it and is going to the membrane filtration plant at our Columbia Heights campus. The powder-activated carbon is added to remove tastes and odors. The water in the green chamber is going to the Fridley filtration plant, which uses our new granular-activated carbon filters to remove tastes and odors. Now we're at Fridley Filter Plant, where we add an additional coagulant to help remove any particles that weren't removed in the softening process. These particles will settle out in our underground sedimentation basins. After that, the water is ready for filtration. We filter the water through newly renovated granular activated carbon filters. Then we complete the final steps in the treatment process, which includes disinfecting the water, adding fluoride, a Minnesota state requirement, and add a chemical to protect our customers from lead exposure. After this, the water goes to two 16 million gallon storage reservoirs and then back to the pump station where it is sent out to our distribution system for our customers. To maintain our high quality filtration system, the city began a rehabilitation project a few years ago. Let's take a look at those updates. Hi, I'm Dale Folan, the lead engineer on the filter rehabilitation project. The filtering methods that were used back in the 1920s when this plant was originally designed and built are still useful today. However, we've made several advances on how to optimize that method of filtration. Most recently, the city began upgrading much of the piping and valves at the filter plant to ensure safe drinking water for many years into the future. For the rehab, we kept the concrete structure in place, stripped it empty, and rebuilt the internal working components to make the system work according to modern standards of drinking water treatment. We also updated the filters by reconstructing them with all new systems. The filters typically run for about a week, then the accumulated materials need to be removed. To modernize the system, we added air scour to improve the cleaning efficiency. We also added a new water tower to hold water to clean the filters. 
and added an underground tank to capture that wash water and recycle it. Lastly, we updated water quality instruments that work with the computer control system to ensure that the plant always meets our water quality goals. The remaining 10 filters will be up and running later in 2022. Well, we hope you enjoyed this quick look at the drinking water treatment system here in Fridley and have a better idea of all the hard work that goes into bringing you each glass of drinking water. Cheers! Cheers.